Candidates vying for presidency in Madagascar have expressed concerns over what they term very weak campaign finance laws. They vex that the participation of former presidents and ministers who have substantial means in the November 7 polls places other candidates at a disadvantage. Presidential candidate Ni Rado Rafali Manana has denounced the situation which he fears might hamper the smoothness of the race, pitting an assortment of 36 politicians. So, in fact, they have some privileges compared to us. One, on financial resources. Two, in logistics. Three, in the permits. And in fact, all the micmac that the state gives to these three candidates. Nirado claims his budget is $1 million, a trifle compared to the big candidates who allegedly would spend several tens of millions of dollars. The absence of a cap on spending and just a few obligations to disclose sources of funding make the system ripe for abuse. A candidate who uses $182 million that the media have been spreading in Madagascar and to today no one takes note that even the President of the United States during election, they did not use such an amount. Where does this money come from? Though one of the world's poorest countries, Madagascar's elections are ranked among the most expensive. A 2016 study estimates that incumbent president Harry Rajao Narimampianina spent about $21 for each vote won.